After defeat in 1945, many of Germany's prison camps were used to hold surrendering Nazis. In Nuremberg, the Allies now held many thousands. Amongst them, former SS death camp personnel, Gestapo officers, and other high-ranking Nazis. Many were implicated in war crimes. And the Nakam now planned to kill them. Plan B was a much smaller proposition than Plan A. But once again, the chosen method was poison. Close to a camp called Stalag 13, Menachem had identified a bakery which supplied the SS prisoners with their daily ration of bread. Now he needed to work out a way of poisoning it. This time, nothing went wrong. The material which was brought to me was brought by a soldier from the Jewish brigade, and it was in hot water bottles bound around his body. We smuggled in the bottles into the bakery. So we created a place to hide under the wooden floor in case of something, which was very useful. And we kept two more bottles in reserve. Working with two accomplices he'd smuggled inside, there was very little time. These people in, at night were standing in a bakery and preparing the, the poison, and others were uh, just putting it on the bread. Each poisoned loaf would, within hours, be cut into quarters and served to four Nazi prisoners. But had the plan worked? עשו את הכל בשביל להציל אותם. לפי מה שסיפרו לי אנשים אחדים, כולם עשו שטיפות קיבה והצילו את כולם, ולכן לא עשו, לא עשו חקירות. For the Nakam, it was another failure. Had the poison simply made the SS inmates ill? I don't know how many, but what I know is that the American army has mobilized all the ambulances, and they had thousands, and they were carrying them to all the possible hospitals, and they were pumping them, pumping out. Despite American attempts to play the attack down, on April the 24th, the story went global. The American press reported nearly 2,300 Nazi victims were in hospital. But again, no deaths. <laughs> <laughs> 